Welcome back to this epic gameplay of Eldritch Horror with all the expansions included except the one that came out today of course round number is it round number three I think it's round three we are going to push on so I'm looking at the world what do we do well we need to get over to the dreamlands because there's a lot of gates popping up here and we need to close them So Dexter, um, where's the nearest portal? Oh, he has a cool... Dexter will dream his way into the dreamlands, I think, during his phase now. Seems like our good friend Dexter Drake cannot do much other than just try to get there and just... Yeah, see what happens when he wakes up on the other side. Okay, let's do that. Let's... I'm using this, this dice tray uh, from Battle Kiwi. Which I find very nice. Because you can just put it on top like this and there is stuff going on underneath and there is not a problem at all. It's great. Dexter is resting and when he's resting, what, what was the rules? Okay, so to get to the dreamlands you can rest and when you do the rest action you test not your influence as I did with Lola and failing, but my willpower minus one. Dexter's willpower is 3 and minus 1 is 2, but good thing that Lola didn't succeed because that would have messed up that game. So she's still here and where she's supposed to be. She would have tested 2 dice and, and failed. She did not have any clue anyway, so that's fine. Dexter however has a clue. I must consult the rules to check if he can first roll and then decide to use the clue. The rules are a bit unclear about this. I, I'm not sure if I can first test my willpower minus one and if I fail I can still spend the clue and go to the dreamlands I think you can because it says that if I pass the test or spend the clue then I can go to the dreamlands so I'm going to try the test if it fails then I spend the clue instead so resting now and rolling my, oops, my willpower minus one and that's a success, so we didn't really have to bother with that rule explanation. So Dexter falls asleep here out in the sea, which and he wakes up in the enchanted wood. And since there's a local path, he will go for free down to Ulthar. Now with his last action, I think it's very tempting to try to close the gate here at Dilat Lean. Um, but the Sean guy doesn't look good. I must test my sanity and must kill it with physical resistance. I think he'll do it um, because he has a couple of focus tokens and a clue even so he can reroll. But yeah, let's just do that. Let's move into Dilute Lean. Very dangerous. But since I have a dark pact, what can go wrong? <laughs> oh. Tommy, 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 you want to join up? Actually, he can. He can actually do that. He can go there and help Dexter. But... Well, he fails the test in the rest action, so he can't go, which makes it a little bit more easier in terms of choice, because then he will try to uh, either travel or shop. Tommy will do some shopping. He has three influence. Tommy. That's one success. He will like the, the astronomy guidebook. That sounds looks very good. But he's not taking a bank loan either, so he's just getting the magnifying glass, which is a trinket and not an item. So once per round, you or another investigator on your space may spend one clue to reroll any number of dice when resolving a test. Uh, that I have to I can take out another item or another card here now ah tear gas Rita will try to do what Tommy could not do and that was going to the dreamlands so she's resting and that will increase her heart her health to five her sanity is maximum I forgot Tommy is now at maximum health as well that's great 
and she will test her willpower minus one. She also has three willpower. Everybody has three willpower actually. <laughs> Interesting. That's just a coincidence. And she fails horribly. Well then, she will go back to Rome. Let's try with this woman instead then. She will rest, regaining some health. Actually, maximum health, that's great, and maximum sanity. And she, has, she also has the same willpower stats as everybody else. She's rolling two dice and she succeeds. That's great. Oh yeah, Rita could have spent her clue to get to the Dreamlands. Maybe I should have done that, but I didn't. So instead, Lola is dreaming away, waking up here in the enchanted woods, going for free to Altar. And with her last action, <laughs> she is a bit too weak, I think, to go in here to dilate Lean and to take out the Sean guy. So instead, she will go shopping here in Ulthar. She is a master shopper, theoretically speaking, at least. Her influence is four. It's only one success. That's not really... Well, she will take the tear gas that just came out. Remember the tear gas? This thing here. So, yep. 45 automatic comes out. This is nice. Hmm. So that brings us to encounters. And now we'll see what Dexter is made of. Because Dexter is facing Sean. So let's see, Sean, and he must, he must test now. Dexter's willpower minus one. And there is two brains here. So if I don't get two successes, then we need to advance Doom by one, unless he spends a clue. And that's going to be uh, interesting because Dexter only has two willpower after that one there is deducted. Hmm, let's make a plan. Can't do anything, need to test. Three minus one is two. Let's see what he gets. He gets one success. Hmm, so he will take one sanity loss unless he do something. Should he try to, okay. No, he will, hmm. He will take the sanity loss, going down to 6 sanity. And now Doom has to advance because of the monster, but Dexter decides to spend his clue. Yep, he spends his clue. Now let's see, this monster is physical resistant, so no weapons. Fine, I don't have any weapons really. But I have a binding spell. So if we now test lore, then I can, then I can reduce the monster's damage to 1 during that encounter. Ah, but the monster only has one damage. Oh, I was really banking on that. No, oh, okay, well, well, then just my fists, which are two. Two fists, so two successes would be enough to kill this monster, actually. Let's see, Dexter with his fists. Ha! Oh, holy schmoly! Macaroni, look at that! Shup, shup! <laughs> <coughs> Physical resistant, yeah, but not to my fists. So this monster is dead. Right, good work, Dexter. Now we can try to close Dilat Lean. And that is an other world encounter. The Great Hall of Celano. The book you're reading describes complex rituals in very abstract terms. You do your best to comprehend the dense material. Test your lore. Dexter's lore is high. It's four. That gives us hope that he can make sense out of these abstract writings. Let's see if he can do that. No. No, 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 no. I don't understand anything what's going on there, Dexter says. That's a bit unfortunate. I don't think I will accept that. I will try to... Use a focus and re-roll a die. Yep. There we go. 
Dexter understands. But what? What is it that he understands? You gradually begin to see a pattern emerge. Gain one spell. Yay! After staring so long at the book, however, you've forgotten how to get back. Oh, to get back home. You ask others in the library for help. That's your influence minus one. So I need to pause to close the gate, because then an alien creature would fly me home. But if I fail, I am delayed, so I cannot afford to fail that influence test minus one. Dexter. How's your influence? <laughs> oh, that's two. <laughs> minus one. Oh, man. Well, you can't be good at everything, I guess. <laughs> but what does it matter as long as you roll like this? Must be this dark pact. Maybe it has something good to it then. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Dexter closes the gate. I dial at lean. <laughs> In the nick of time, I think. Uh, but more importantly, he gains a spell. Now, this game has three sorts of spells. Incantations. Spells. Incantations. Yes. Um, ritual and glamour spells. And I have sorted these in categories. So I need to find out which category we are going to draw from. So that is a number between 1 and 6. 1 and 2 it's incantations. 3 and 4 it's going to be rituals and 5 and 6 it's glamour. Let's see. It's 1. It's an incantation spell. That's great. I dive into the pile of incantation spells. I get flesh ward. Dexter has this passive ability <clears> that once per round, <coughs> oh my voice went, once per round when I gain a spell, Dexter can gain another spell. And that of course he will do, and let's see with category, <laughs> it's the same thing, incantations, the spectral racer. When resolving a combat encounter you may test your lore, if you pass, roll one additional die when resolving the strength during that encounter. Getting buffed up now with Dexter. And for some reason I filmed Tommy Muldoon while doing all this Dexter stuff. Right, moving on to Tommy in Buenos Aires. So that is a city encounter. As you listen to Tango on the radio. Well, of course, of course. Tango in Buenos Aires. The announcer walks into your room. Oh, crappers. <laughs> he comes out of the radio. And asks if you have seen the yellow sign. My goodness. You may spend two sanity and gain a blight condition to gain a ritual spell. A random trinket asset from the deck. And a talent condition. Should I do that? That's a high cost. Two sanity for Tommy. That's borderlining. It's down to three sanity then. Um, but the blight condition? What is a blight condition? Is that good? Of course it's not good. But I normally don't like to do this. And I don't think I'm going to either now, because Tommy is sort of strolling alone just fine. So, no, 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 thank you. No, 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 no. This guy in the radio. <laughs> There's actually a guy inside the radio. It's really weird. Rita Young in Rome. The state statue of St. Michael atop the Castel Sant'Angelo inspires you. Improve your willpower. Oh, that's great. Inside you meet Count Cagliostro, who died over a hundred years ago. Test your real power minus one. If you pass, he shares a quest. Gain a task unique asset. If you fail, he hexes you. Gain a bane condition. We need to pass this. First improve the willpower and then test willpower minus one. Hmm. Yeah, Rome is a weird place. Rita's willpower is three, so... That's buffing her up to 4. I think this is really going the way. I'm really positive and optimistic here now. And now I have to test that. Which is 3 dice. Bum, bum. Let's see Count Caglio... Cag, Cag, hmm. Cagliostro. It's not a problem, sir. Senor. I get a task. What does he want me to do? Never had a task before. This Count guy... In Rome says, Hello, Senora, you must explore the ruins. 
after resolving an expedition encounter or a mystic ruin encounter. You may spend one focus or place one focus on this card, then you may flip the card. That's that's nice. So Rita has uh, uh, incentive to go to Arkham then to explore the ruins there. Yeah, she will do that then. Lola Hayes in Ultar, my first ever encounter in the Dreamlands. The ghost of a boy is looking for something. You ask him to speak, test your influence. If you pass, and if you, you better pass. My influence. Oh, that's great. Lola is an expert negotiator with four influence, but she repeatedly fails to use it and she can't reroll and that is a fail. My goodness, really? Oh shit. Huh, yeah. If you fail, his loss becomes yours. Discard one improvement token. Kinda sucks. Either observation or lore. I don't know, lore. Let's have a look what happens now. That doesn't look so bad. Spawn clues. I can certainly do that. Two clues for this game. Clue number one. In space. Oops. In space nine. And the second clue. Is in Rome. Everything in the room is rotten and corroded. All the remains of the wizard is a all that remains of the wizard is a pile of fine dust marked by two small footprints. Oh oops, trader of the dust. <laughs> it's a rumor. Hmm. When this card oh yeah, well didn't see that in the bottom there. Okay, when this card enters play. Spawn the um the what the Kuash Kuashil Utos Epic Monster on Rome where Rita Young is What's wrong with you guys? What's going on? Kuashil Utos What is that? Oh man that doesn't sound good at all I don't want to meet this guy And when the monster is defeated then this rumor is sold and this my friends is Kuashil Utaus the trader of the dust. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Sanity. Ripple minus one, three sanity. That's tough. I'm going to lose sanity when I fight him because none of my guys. Well, Rita now has more than three in sanity, but still, it's tough. Strength is not so bad, but what about this toughness? That's equal to investigators plus two. So this guy has six toughness. Shit. Six toughness. Hmm. And if I lose a health from the test, the strength test, I need to roll a die. And on the one or two, I am devoured. I'm just gloop gum. Oh no. Holy macaroni. On the reckoning then. The lead investigator may impair his strength. If he does not, at the end of the mythos phase, draw and resolve another mythos card without resolving the card's resolve reckoning effects icon if it has one. So then we get another mythos card, and, but we don't do the reckoning effects on that second card. And Rome was such a nice place. Rita, scoot over. We need Quashil Utaus, the trader of the dust, to be here. <laughs> it doesn't say, but I will still put a rumor token by this guy, so I remember that there's an ongoing rumor here. I'm leaving the, the, um, the, the card with the reckoning effect by the great old one so and yeah, that was kind of devastating uh, go, the game is strange it go it floats along and you think you're doing okay and then just boom boom you got to remove Quachil Utkas so he's going to speed us through the middle stack much faster than we like how can we do that mm -hmm. 
Ah, who knows? I don't know. Rita is quite a powerful person actually, but she doesn't really have any weapons. The only other guy here in this world is Tommy in Buenos Aires and he but yeah he will need one two turns to get to London no sorry to get to Rome not doing anything else than travel but he has I mean his willpower is he's still yeah well he will lose sanity for sure see you soon if I'm not devoured Bye-bye. <laughs>